All right. So, of course, one of the things that came up in the stream was using a DAW as a MIDI sequencer to control the radium sampler inside Soundminer. And I figured out how to do it. It was pretty easy. So, do you want to call up Audio MIDI Setup? Do you want to go to MIDI Studio? And the IAC driver, by default, is disabled. So that was the problem. That's how it normally is. So you double-click on it. You put it online. And then, because I'm using Reaper, for some reason, you've got to enable all your things. So you go down to MIDI Devices. My input is going to be my um, MIDI keyboard. So USB MIDI is there. And output, I need to needed to enable the IAC driver as an output. So that's done. And then you just create a track. It's going to get its input from the USB MIDI. You want to uh, record enable, a record monitor, go to routing, change it to the IAC driver. So now, inside Soundminer, I've got the IAC driver. You can choose that. So when I hit a key in, on my keyboard, it's being routed through Reaper, through the IAC bus to Soundminer. So I'm going to kill this stuff. There we go. Just crank it up a bit. Oh, yeah. Red. Red is fun. OK, so now what I'll do is I'll hit record. Do some. Pitch bends. I'll save it. And now, of course, I can play it back. I can rewrite. So I'm like, yeah, that was pretty cool. Although, let's get rid of that. Perfect. OK, so now I want, I want to record it. So I would hit record, swap back, hit play. Done. There it is. Ta-da! <laughs>